Okay guys, I just found out from my producers that we'll be doing an upcoming episode on Altered where you guys, like the viewers, get to decide what I sell for like that particular week. So give me your most uh, unfashionable clothing choices, I guess, or something that you feel like is going to be very hard to style and let me know in the story next so that you'll see in an upcoming episode. Uh, I fucked it up. Ah, bye! Welcome to today's episode of Zula Alter and this episode is not something I'm looking forward to. So the challenge is that uh, the producers have decided to sub me, right? And then they decided, okay, let's get the viewers to choose what I style for the next week. And I know you guys, right? Confirm want me to wear something very unfashionable, right? Confirm want me to find something that is like super hard to style to challenge me, right? So I guess I'm here to do that for your entertainment. Without further ado, let's go into what you guys have suggested on my IG. Okay, so I just opened the responses and there's like a whole lot of them. I have no idea how I'm gonna even choose what the style because I'm probably only gonna pick four to five items. But um eh, how are, how are? You choose versus I choose. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I'm up for the challenge, I'm up for the challenge. Right off the bat, right? I see FBTs. It's literally my worst nightmare come to life. Why do people want me to sell FPTs? Guys, you need to know FPTs are for home, not for going out, bro! The next thing that I see, right, are school dry fit t-shirts. The last time I wore one of that was for a TSL video, and I was forced to wear this t-shirt, okay? Oh my god, Amanda, okay. She literally right. the I love SG t-shirt from Bossini. Ha 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 ha! Is it very funny, Amanda? Ooh, so I think this one will be interesting because uh, it says no rise jeans. Someone actually mentioned like those platform uh, slippers. Okay, so my dance crew instructors just replied me and said tutu skirt. It might be something I want to experiment with and try. As I'm scrolling, someone replied uncle singlet with a lot of holes. Bruh. They'll sit at the kopi tiam and then they like drink their kopi o in their uncle slippers which someone also said wear those sandals with socks. That whole look is like I'm going for the uncle fashion already right there. The next thing I see is that someone said wear pattern on pattern. I'm gonna choose that for myself, just saying producer. Yeah, I'm gonna choose mismatch colors for you. But with that said, I think we looked through all the options. Um, Miss producer, would you like to choose one and I choose one? One is uh, pattern on pattern versus mismatch colors. The second option, the one I would say that I am most interested to style would be tutu skirts. I mean, that would be fun, but how about an uncle singlet? What the fuck is she saying? Like a, that would be fun, but too bad! <laughs> the next thing that I wouldn't mind styling would be low-rise jeans because I can try to cheat and like not choose a super bright colour, you know? But because Leah finds it relatively easy, we're gonna give her FPTs because we know she hates FPTs! Oh my god! I really hate FPTs! Next option. Okay, just you just give me one now, okay? How about the school camp dry fit shirts? I have had people request for me to style this before. I avoided these requests clearly. <laughs> what to poll against that? Is it like the I Heart Singapore t-shirts? But I don't think we have a full wear option. There was the option of the platform slippers or the <laughs> the wet market slippers that the uncles wear. Maybe as a challenge, one of your four outfits from the beginning. One of them, you have to match it with the chosen footwear option. Why? Perfect. So I guess I have my options and my producer has her options. Uh, the best way to decide who wins, please vote for me, is to poll on my IG. And I'm going to do that right now and stay tuned for the first outfit. Bye. Hello guys, today is day one and I looked at the results. No surprises there because I know people want me to fail. So I have with me the most basic of basic FBTs here. I have some options available. Let me just show it to you guys and I'm going to change into it. Okay, so this is potentially the first outfit. I do not understand why FBTs are so short. Like my ass is literally exposed. Let me swap to the other outfit to see whether that, that would be any more appropriate, but I doubt it. Okay, and this is the concept for the second look. In my head, it made more sense. But now that I'm wearing it, I'm like... Uh. Like, this length of short just 
doesn't do it any justice, you know. Your outfit today is the bombs. I love it because I love anything corset. It makes a person or what a rather a woman looks very sexy, very slim. I think it's good. It's just that not a lot of people would want to wear corset outside because it can look a bit too like mm -mm. performance wise. Mm -mm. And mm -mm. But the way that you wear it, I think it's very good. Thank you, but um, before that, I would like to say that the point of this outfit is not the corset. The point of this outfit is that I'm wearing FPTs underneath. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you're going to go kinky this. Oh. Everybody, where are Leo Shannon's FPTs? First of all, it's so obvious that I'm wearing FPTs. How is it not obvious that I'm wearing FPTs? Please give me a rating for my outfit. I would say that it's an 8. Has That's the point of this video. Realized? Um, everyone else said they didn't notice it, lah, so I'm going to go and ask more people. Right now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Can you just look at my outfit, right? And then give me your opinion. You never wear pants? What the hell? I am wearing pants, what do you mean? Okay. I thought you were wearing like some bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> FPTs! Oh, I didn't even know it was FPTs. I thought it was like those really short squats. Okay, good feet. job, eh? Thanks. Hey, you want to buy the corset, right? Okay. Do you want also? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask Fauzi. You wore a corset outside your okay. shirt. Okay, you wear shorts. Uh, where, uh, after, uh, what else do you want me to say? Okay, so... Did, am I supposed to notice something? Yes. I'm not like you dress like... <laughs> yeah, I think nice. Like, okay, because corset, I... Right, the corset now. Honestly, okay, I mean like the idea here is you're drawing attention away from the shorts. Correct! Uh, Oh, but to be honest, I see it, it covers the, the logo, so I think I'm okay. Thank you guys. You're welcome. You did, you did a good job. So I'm with, I'm with my friend now, right? And I'm gonna ask him what he thinks of my outfit. This is my friend. Say hello. Hi. So I was wearing this. Can you see what I'm wearing? Do you have any comments about it? Funny, yeah. Uh. Why is it funny? It like you're wearing a bra outside. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still wearing it, by the way. You are? You're wearing it? Oh, yeah, she's wearing it. Right? The point of it is that it's just now I was wearing this. Can you see this logo? Oh, okay, like, actually, I, I cannot tell it's FPT shots. Give me a rating. 6.5. Where is, where, where is the other 3.5 points? I guess I don't know how to appreciate fashion. Lah. <laughs> okay, <la. laughs> thanks. Guys, today is day two of the outfits and if you can already see, I'm wearing this camp t-shirt for my times at NUS Business. I'm wearing this uh, grey striped blazer to match with a leopard print skirt. If you can't really tell, there's a lot of people in office so I'm gonna go ask them what they think about my outfit and yeah, let's go and see what they think. Let's go, let's go. Um, what are you doing here, ma'am? I'm, I'm, I'm here, right? It's very <laughs> Can you look at my outfit and tell me what you think? Isn't that prints on prints? No. I'm making it very obvious. Am I supposed to know this? Okay, maybe if I take off my jacket, it's a bit better now. Hey, are you supposed to be... Are you supposed to be styling like your school t-shirt? I like it eh? But the thing is that, right? I always wear school t-shirts. <laughs> Okay, how would you style your school t-shirt? I always wear my school t-shirt and then I wear like my jeans and sneakers, that's it. Okay. And then I wear like a bomber jacket. So it's oh, super okay. casual. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Yeah. Do you not feel judged wearing no. a school t-shirt? No. Oh. See, I love wearing my school t-shirts, it's like a pride. Because I love where I come from. Oh. Thank you for um, validating the people who wear school t-shirts out. Yeah. Not that I don't, I just feel that I personally wouldn't wear it out. I wear it all the time guys, don't worry. Hi. Can see the fit? Yeah, okay, what? <laughs> Uh, I think the first thing that I noticed are the words on the t-shirt. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm assuming it's uh, an orientation kind of theme. Okay. So but, what do you think of my outfit? Uh, quite busy. Yeah. There's quite a lot of things going on. Busy. Firstly. Yeah. Firstly. <laughs> and then the skirt also like got leopard prints. Yeah, to be honest, it's not much uh, of, uh, of an eyesore. I would still give it a... Uh, Maybe seven. seven I saw seven. Seven. <laughs> okay, thank you, Hafiz. Um, no worries. I appreciate your honest answer yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah. Okay, hi, John. Hello. Um, what do you think of my outfit today? Frankly, so, I, I like it. Firstly, I I mean, Lei is known for bold fashion choices, right? So I'm just surprised that she's wearing, like, I think what, it looks like a camp theme. Oh! <laughs> I love yes. the jacket. Uh-huh, thank you. I like the wings on the shirt. Leopard prints. Yeah, fits her aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> But I mean, the point of this video, which you pointed out, was for me to actually style school t-shirts. Oh, yeah, okay. you know, frankly speaking, I think once again, Leah has done it. Shut the f no. I'm ah! She chose the right, um, I guess, design. <gasps> I know, I know this is on purpose. Yes. But, first, like, but like, could you could you give me a rating upon ten? You know, it's a solid eight, man. Solid eight. Eight. 
Okay, nice. All the poly boys wish that their girlfriends dress like oh, this. Okay, this is a. Ah. It is uh, day three of my outfit challenge, and today's challenge is that I need to style colors from the opposite spectrum of the color wheel. In the spirit of Christmas, I decided to wear my most festive a green pattern skirt okay so the opposite of green technically is red but instead of going for something obnoxiously red i went for a bit more of a burnt orange color but to challenge myself i decided that why not add in one more pop of color i decided to wear these two so it's rgb red green and blue Ta -da! you may think that this may not be your taste but to be honest i feel pretty comfortable in this and by the way, my skirt has a bit of like a blue pattern So it matches with the blue on the vest And not only that, there's a bit of pink in the skirt as well Which matches with this pink So I was like, wow, everything is so colour coordinated today I gotta go get myself to office right now So I will see you guys there I'll ask everybody what they think of my outfit Hello beautiful Hello <laughs> What's up? What's up? Okay, um I would like to ask you your thoughts on my outfits. I want to say just like the festive colours. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. It's good eh. Like it doesn't look like you're having a fashion disaster. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. That's why that's why that's not why I saw him like, is it your shoot? Why so pretty? <laughs> Very nice. It's like a Christmas tree. You can stand at the front. No, you look you look <laughs> like, like you shoot. look like a present really. Like a wrapping paper. Your present is She wants to unwrap you. Oh my okay. So thank you for the interview. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so unwilling to be in my video. Color yeah. coordination, of course. Mm -hmm. Very off point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really love the vest because you can call it up a bag. <gasps> yeah! The pockets are so okay. useful! So, basically, the viewers got to choose between mixed prints mm -hmm. and uh, opposite color wheel mm -hmm. spectrum. So, the, is this opposite enough for you? Because basically, okay, I went in red and green. Yeah. Then I was like, why don't I spice it up and be RGB? 100% pass lang. 100% nice. Like as in, so you went all the way, being the true Virgo that you are, you're like, nope, I'm not gonna stick to just one challenge. I'm gonna combine like four colors. How would you rate this outfit upon 10? Okay, oh, then. Stop it! Yay, good job. 10 upon 10, 10 upon 10. Thanks, Belle. I love you, it's very cute. It's like so functional. I think it's a really nice combination because even though you have like a bow top and a printed skirt, it still cinches very well together because of the vest, which is like black and like the, the navy blue. Which, like, Okay. Uh, I'm so complimented today. I'm very shy. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you all my OOTD, but I'm gonna do it like how I usually do it. Once I like, run there, then press the button. And then, like, okay, run back, run back. <laughs> then, just the outfit. Okay, so basically, this is what I wear. Okay, so 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 this is what I wear. Okay, Alright, it's the last day of the challenge and I'm low-key horrified at these sandals and um, how I've paired them with my outfit today but we gotta make do. <laughs> yes, this is my outfit with my uncle vest and my polo shirt and my bucket hat. Why you laugh at me? No, you look like a baby from the back. Why do I look like a baby? No, that's the baby singlet. It's supposed to be the uncle singlet. I don't want to say you uncle, ma. Okay, fine. What do you think of my outfit? I'll give you nine. La. Nine? Look, when I first came in, I didn't notice until you asked me to read your outfit. Oh, okay. Hi, Renee. Uh, you see me the whole of the baby? Yes, yes. Okay, there's something that I'm being challenged to wear in this outfit. Oh, I know. Uncle singlet. How do you know? Because I was wondering why would she wear such a thing. What did, what did but you're killing it. You make you make it look fashionable. Really? What would you rate this outfit? Um. Uh, okay, I'll give it an eight point three. Okay. Oh, Not nice three. enough to be eight point five. Okay. Maybe like a little pop of brightness because oh, the tones yeah. are all very like muted. Your bicycle chain. <laughs> really I put in like line that. with the uncle theme. Like we love that. Are you slacking? <laughs> don't, don't oh, do uh. <laughs> It's six o'clock. <laughs> what do you think of my outfit today? The outer looks like 
something I would wear when I was six years old. This singlet, right? Who else do you see wearing these things besides you when you're six years old? Uncles who do the Beijing bikini. <laughs> um, yes, I, I, today I'm challenged to style this uncle singlet. Dang! Genius! Ah, really? They like yeah, it? Yeah, it, it works as a vest. Yeah, how would you rate my outfit? I rate it good 8.75. Thank you, Renee gave Easy. me an 8.3. I love how we are all here with Why? the random numbers. Uh, maybe you can okay. like get more earthy colors. Okay. Now you look like the sea, but okay. future men's from the earth. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take you, man, then, for a suggestion. Yeah. Alright, it's time to go home, and I have who other than Renee? Uh -huh. and, and I'm here to finally show her my complete look with my slippers. Okay, when I saw them in the shoe rack, I was like, wow, that's hideous. But on your feet, it looks nice! And with the whole outfit, it's very cohesive and we stand. Nice! Okay, with that said, it's come to the conclusion of this uh, four days of trying outfits that you guys have suggested. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the outro. Bye! Hi guys, uh, it's been a while since I've looked at this video and we realised that we forgot to film an outro so here I am about one month later and uh, from what I remember from this challenge I think it was like pretty interesting and exciting to see what you guys wanted to pick for me to style though I didn't feel many were really hard but I would say like some made me step out of my comfort zone and push myself a bit more in terms of styling for example the FPT ones I was like oh my freaking god how I was actually stress panicking for a good two days but it turned out pretty okay in my opinion and I think my favourite look overall from the 4 days of the challenge was actually the colour blocking one. Uh, I wore it in like 2 videos on TSL just by chance and although I low-key felt like a traffic light right, everybody really liked how it pieced together and I got a surprisingly quite a number of compliments which is more than usual. So that was what I felt was the most successful outfit in my opinion. But you guys let me know which one was your favourite in the comments down below and also let me know what else you want me to style and maybe I could do another viewer's choice part 2 if you like this uh, whole series. So with that said, comment down below and also remember to like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for future episodes of Zula Altered.